Former President Donald Trump hit the campaign trail Wednesday with a pair of visits to Midwest swing states. His first stop was in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Wisconsin is among several swing states that could be key to the November election. Trump won Wisconsin by less than a percentage point in 2016 and lost by less than a percentage point to President Joe Biden in 2020. On Wednesday, the former president was in full campaign mode, making the case for another four years. Trump received a hero's welcome in Wisconsin, where 1,200 of his faithful supporters packed the Waukesha County Expo Center for a rally. The presumptive Republican nominee focused a lot of his attention on the economy, promising to make things better. The choice for Wisconsin is simple, if you want lower prices. Then you have no choice than to vote for one person, Donald J. Trump, Trump said. When I'm in the White House, the Biden economic bust will be replaced by the Trump economic boom. With immigration a major issue for Republicans, Trump promised to seal off the border, if elected. And he decried the current wave of college campus takeovers. I say, remove the encampments immediately. Vanquish the radicals and take back our campuses, Trump said. Radical extremists and agitators, they are terrorizing college campuses, as you possibly noticed, and Biden's nowhere to be found. Not all those who stood in long lines outside made it in. A woman from Chicago's West Side was among those who did. I'm here to support the greatest president in my lifetime. We can see, as citizens of Chicago, the policies of the Biden administration are bankrupting our city, P. Ray Easley said. Trump even touched on the impact of crime in Chicago on retailers. So now, they put bars up, and they put glass up. And somebody wants to buy toothpaste, it takes half an hour for the guy to come, Trump said. Trump also received a rousing applause when he talked about needing more election security. I will secure our elections, one day voting, with paper ballots and proof of citizenship and voter ID, Trump said. But many who did not get in Wednesday left disappointed. They should have had it at like State Fair Park. Or some place that's a bigger venue. There are thousands of people here, Macquan, Wisconsin resident Janet Peterson said. Trump, who campaigns on Wednesdays, when his hush money trial in New York is not in session. Brushed off the impact his current and future trials could have on the election. They are trying this weaponization of the Justice Department. That hasn't worked that well, highest poll number ever. Trump said. His supporters agree. Some of that stuff is just so ridiculous. Those trials are just a joke, Lao resident Paul Hu just said. The former president actually started his remarks about 30 minutes earlier than scheduled and spoke for nearly an hour and a half. He said this campaign is not a revenge tour. We are going to make this country so successful again, it's going to be so successful. That will be our revenge. Trump said. From Walker Show, he was heading to Michigan for another rally in a battleground state. Trump said he was looking forward to the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee in July.